Today's wig install will come with a part two because I want to give you guys an update on the product I use in today's video. Make sure your notifications are turned on and let's jump right on in. Question of the day, would you agree that the type of lace matters as far as giving a natural melting look? Like HD lace melts better than standard Swiss lace. So I have a yes and no answer with this. For me personally, I think it's all about technique. I don't care what type of lace you use. If you don't have a good technique when it comes to applying your wig that works for you, you're not going to master your lace melting or blending with your skin. Um, a lot of times I have seen people that can work with lace that is not HD lace, that is regular lace and blend it really well where it looks so natural even in sunlight. So again, it's just all about your technique. Um, as far as the different types of lace, one may be easier for someone or harder for another, but to me, it's all about technique, really not about the lace. So if you all have any more questions, feel free to drop them below. I love answering you all's questions, whether it's in the video or whether it's directly. I would love to hear what you have to say. Just drop that comment. Welcome back for today's video. This wig is from AF Sister Wig. It is a 13 by six wig. And of course it comes in a natural black color and I did lighten it to be a more brown color. If you have seen my developer method, then you know exactly how I do that. If you wanna know how I bleach the knots in detail, I do have a full tutorial I just put up, updated for 2023 on how I bleach the knots. <laughs> When I search HD ball caps, this is the one I found on Amazon and it's supposed to be a nylon wig liner cap. Now this is supposed to be thinner than the traditional wig cap. To be honest, looking at it, I was like, okay, I kind of see the difference. The feel is a little bit more lightweight. So we're gonna see in a second. Now, yes, I found another one you guys and this one is not from my previous brand that I like to use. This one is from Kiss. It's called the Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. It's on their website and they have three different versions. I have the 10 times hold. Now what got me with this is it's supposed to be sweat proof and waterproof. However, just like most adhesive sprays, it removes with water. Now tomorrow I will be coming back to share with you all how this spray held up. So make sure you are subscribed. Now I normally don't do the ball cap method unless I'm using an actual glue, but since I've gotten so many questions about how I do mine, I'm going to use this ball cap that I shared. And I am going to use this adhesive spray because it says that it's water resistant. A lot of times when people do the ball cap method, they use glue because it holds better. But since this spray said that it is water resistant, sweat resistant, I'm gonna use it. Now, judging this wig cap, it does seem a bit thinner. You can see through it a little bit more. Now, as far as blending the edge, I took a little bit of the lace putty to get rid of the line that you see here. It didn't really do as good as I thought it would do. Um, maybe next time I'll just use the spray. Now, if you have not seen my bleaching tutorial and products I use, this is why you should go check it out. <laughs> I actually over bleached the knots, but the scalp area, oh my God, like, Look at how good it is. And that wig cap is actually really comfortable and breathable, I like it. Now I am going to remove the extra lace. Remember if you need a detailed tutorial on how to cut around the ear tab or remove the lace, check the description box below. I not only will have this wig linked, all the products I use will be on the Amazon link in my description box. And then of course I have some helpful videos down there for you all that's very detailed. Now I am loving the hairline on this wig. You do not need to tweeze it. You do not need to do anything. And look how that lace just melts. Now going back to the question of the day, if I did not bleach the knots as much as I did, you probably would kind of still see that lace. And the lace on this wig is Swiss lace. It's not HD lace. And as you can see, it still looks very good. All right, so let's jump into this install. With the spray, I am spraying it around the hairline and have my dryer on cool air. Um, that way I can make sure that ball cap does not lift and I'm spraying all around the hairline in increments. 
This spray does dry a bit faster, so you want to go ahead and just place that lace as you are spraying um, if you need to because it will dry on you. So that's a great thing that it dries fast, but sometimes it's not a great thing because it can make it where you have to add more product and you don't want to overdo the product because you don't want it to be like messy or your hair stuck down into it or anything like that. But as you can see, the application looks good. Like just pressing that lace down, the way everything is just blending effortlessly. Like I love it. Now you did see me apply the guides around the hairline with the pencil just so I can know exactly where I wanted to place um, the wig adhesive spray. I normally don't do that, but if you need a guide, you can do that also. Now this wig again will be linked below in the description box. I'll also put a discount code down there for you all. And remember if you are looking for any product tools, anything I'm using in today's video, I will also have it linked in my Amazon storefront link that is in the description box. I'm getting this question a lot. So I try to put everything in there so that you all can just have just one area where you can find everything that I'm using. All right, so AF Sister Wig have their edge band now that you can get from them. I will also put the link for this, but of course I use the same technique, I tie down my hairline for at least 15 minutes with an edge band. All right, so after about 15 minutes, the hairline looks amazing. Look, I don't know what's going on. I didn't review several products and I'm getting the same result. Like, I mean, besides the little flaking you see here, this is what happens if you put too much on one side. I think that side I sprayed a little too much. So if you do too much product, you will get that residue. But what I was saying is I feel like the products I've been sharing have been very good, okay? Um, and I show you guys exactly what I'm going through as far as the process and I tell you everything and you're seeing it for yourself. So I'm not sure if I'm just having like good luck just picking products <laughs> over the past couple weeks, but I'm satisfied. Like I'm happy and it's making me excited to actually try more wig adhesives because I've been stuck on my favorite for the longest and I'm finally branching out and I'm trying new wig adhesives and I'm finding that I'm loving it. Now, you just seen what the hairline looked like without any baby hairs. For those of you who do like baby hairs, I'm gonna go ahead and add some so that you all can see what this wig will look like if you wanted to add some edges. Now, the hold on this spray is 10 times the hold. It has an extreme hold of a level eight. They do have one all the way up to um, 20 times the hold. I did not or have not tried that one. I feel like the hold is secure. Like the wig feels secure throughout the day. Now, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but with all my wig installs, I like to keep the straps in the back adjusted, kind of tight, but not too tight. Um, I find that it helps the hairline in the front to lay flat, of course. So if you haven't found use for your straps in the back, this could help you to keep your lace down in the front. I find times that I do kind of remove that um, adjustable band where it's not hooked. Um, my lace in the front sometimes will lift faster. So that's a tip if you all <laughs> needed some help with that. But overall, I can't really say that the hold for this spray is going to actually last me through like sweating. I do work out. I didn't work out um, after this video, but I'm curious to see how long it will hold. But I'm gonna assume that it's going to give the same hold as most sprays. If there's any updates on that, I will definitely come back and let you all know. However, I can tell you this, for any wig adhesive spray that say it removes with water, you cannot put on a can that is waterproof, okay? <laughs> and that's like my only issue with the advertisement on the can for this spray. So I'm not gonna tell you guys that this is waterproof um, beyond me wearing it because unless I jump into some water or if I actually sweat, then yeah, no. <laughs> All 
all right so this is what the hairline will look like if you add some edges i actually like this too you guys can drop me some comments let me know what you think about today's wig install i will also put all these products and this wig below in the description box be sure to check below this video i thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video and i hope to see you in my next video Mwah.